This is an entry to functional skills maths practice paper by City and Guilds. It is split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator. First part is worth nine marks. We'll go through each question in turn. And here we have the first question. How many hours are there in a day? 24. What's the next number in this sequence? So we've got 66, 64, 62, 60. Then we're going to go to 59, 58. So we're going down by two each time. Work out 98 divided by 4. How many 4s fit into 9? That is 2 of them because 2 times 4 is equal to 8. There's one remaining. How many 4s into 18? That is 4 of them because 4 times 4 is 16. So there is 2 remaining. So 24 remains a 2. What is the name of this 3D shape? This is a sphere. What fraction of this shape is shaded? So there is one that is shaded out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So one tenth of the shape is shaded. Put these measures in order, start with the smallest. So they're all in millilitres, so we're just going to look at the numbers and put the numbers in order. The smallest out of them all is 49. And then we have 75. 120. 150. The charity shop receives a box of jumpers to sell. The manager asks the volunteer to count the number of jumpers in the box. What number does she tell the manager? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So it's 45. You could have also worked it out in blocks of 9, as you can see, there's 9 here, and 9 here, 9, 9, 9, so 5 lots of 9, to give us 45. A woman gives a box with 20 pairs of jeans to a charity shop. 12 pairs of the jeans are good enough to be sold. The rest will be recycled. The manager asks the volunteer to work out how many of the pairs of jeans will be recycled. Complete the calculation to show the number of pairs of jeans that will be recycled. So there were 20 in total and 12 of them are good enough to be sold. So 20 take away 12 equals 8. So eight pairs will be recycled. The supervisor wants all the coats put on large black hangers. She asked the assistant to sort the hangers and hung up the coats. So we're looking for large black hangers. So there is one there, 
two, three, four, five, six of them. So we've just ticked them. And this is the end of the first part. From now on, you can use a calculator. There are 27 marks for this part. Here you've got to round the numbers to the nearest tent to check the answer is about right. So 62, we're going to round that to 60. 39, we're going to round it to 40. So 60, take away 40 is equal to 20, which is what 23 is rounded to the nearest 10. Which day has the coldest temperature? So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Looking at the numbers, we've got 10 being the lowest. So that is Wednesday. How many sides does a pentagon have? Pentagon has five. A man applies for a job in a charity shop. He gets a letter asking him to attend an interview. The interview will start at half past two in the afternoon. Which one of these clocks shows the time the interview will start? Tick one. So half past two, that is A. As we can see, the long hand is on top of six to show half, and the short hand is past two. He needs to catch a bus to arrive in good time for the interview. He looks at the different bus numbers and their arrival times. What number bus should he get? Give a reason for your answer. It should be 63 because it arrives at 2 o'clock. The rest of them arrive after the interview would have started. So bus number 63. The reason it arrives before the interview starts. A human will walk to the charity shop for her interview. She checks the routes on the website. The website shows these four different routes. She wants to take the shortest route. Take the route she will take. So looking at these numbers, which are actually distances. So the lowest of them all is 1.2. So she should take route C. A customer wants to buy these items from the charity shop. What amount of money must the customer pay? Give units with your answer. Okay, so we can use a calculator for this and we're going to add 9 and 13 and 10, which is equal to 32 pounds.
the customer has this money to pay for the items. So 20 and 20, that is 40 pounds. So that was 32 pounds that he needed to pay. He should be getting eight pounds as change. So the shop assistant gives him this money in change. Did the shop assistant give the customer the correct change? Use numbers to explain your answer. So we've worked out that it needs to be eight pound change. So five, six, eight, and 20 pence, 40 pence, 50 pence, nine pounds in total. So the shop assistant has given one pound extra. So no, and the reason The shop assistant has given one pound extra in change. Question six, the manager shows the shop assistant how to use the till. There is 25 pounds in the till at the start of the day. At the end of the day, there is 98 pounds in the till. They want to know how much money was made from the sales. The manager tells the shop assistant to subtract the money in the till at the start of the day from the money in the till at the end of the day. What amount of money was made from sales? So we're gonna go 98, take away 25. That is equal to 73. So 73 pounds. Question seven, some of the donated clothes are too old to sell and are put in a box for recycling. One of the jobs in the charity shop is to weigh these boxes. The boxes are sent to be recycled when the box of clothes weighs more than eight kilograms. The manager asks the shop assistant to weigh the box of clothes. If you look at it, it's over eight kilograms. So it is more than eight kilograms. What way does the shop assistant tell the manager? If you look at it, 8.2. So 8.2 would be here. The manager wants to know how much the shop will be paid for this box of clothes. So it is between eight and 10 kilograms. So six pounds. What amount of money should the shop get? That was six pounds. The next day, there are eight boxes to send for recycling. They each weigh more than 10 kilograms. What amount of money should the shop Get. So more than 10, that is seven pounds. How many boxes? There are eight boxes. So eight times seven equals 56, so 56 pounds. The manager needs a chart to show the most popular items sold in the shop last week. She made a list of the numbers of the most popular items sold last week. We've got jumpers 55, trousers 60, coats 40. Draw three bars to finish the bar chart.
top jumpers. We've got 55. So we're going to go up to 55. Trousers sixty. So leaving the same gap, a one square gap, and keeping the same width. So going to sixty and coats. For coats, it's forty. So again leaving a gap and going down to 40. You could do this with a um, ruler and a pencil. So do they match? 55, 60 and 40. Jumpers, trousers and cuts. How many more jumpers than coats were sold? Jumpers 55 and coats 40. So 55 take away 40 gives us 15. So 15 more jumpers than coats were sold. Question 9. The manager of the charity shop wants to put up a shelf. She has three shelves to choose from. Shelf A is 140 centimeters. Shelf B is 170 centimetres. Shelf C is 130 centimetres. She asked the volunteer to measure the wall. The wall is this wide. 160. Which is the longest shelf that will fit on the wall? So 140 can fit. 170 will not, 130 will fit as well. So out of them two, we've got 140, that is the highest. And that was shelf A. A customer wants to buy a vase. He asks the volunteer if they have a vase. These items are displayed on a shelf. The volunteer tells him where the vase is. And as you can see, the vase is here, between the candlesticks and the mirror. To complete the sentence to show what the volunteer told the customer, there is a vase on the shelf, a word missing, the candlesticks and the mirror, so between. And this is the end of the paper.